It's August 17th, 2010. We got us a spot. We're two days in the crow season, and the farmers call us that he needs some help getting rid of some of these crows. So we're gonna go take care of some crows for him. He's got a field that they've been ripping into pretty good. I guess he's had to seed it a couple times. Can't get his hay up. So we're gonna go do the man a favor. And why don't you come along for the ride? Should be fun. So on this particular hunt, we're just gonna go over some of the uh, gear that we're using here. Um, let's start with the decoys. We've got the owl decoy. Pick it up at any Home Depot or garden supply store. They're awesome. Crows hate them. We got the carry light, full body, fully flocked, standing crow with a stake. We got the other carry light, which is a tree. You can hang it in a tree. I usually stick them on the ground, but we're going to kind of spread them out here and see how the crows like that. Camouflage, always important. I prefer Under Armour camouflage. As you can see, I got my face painted up. You got to be totally concealed or the birds are going to pick you right out. Here we're using today, we're using the Fox Pro, Fox Pro Spitfire. It brings in crows really well. I love this product. Buy Fox Pro all the way. As far as shotguns, there's only one shotgun out there as far as I'm concerned. It's the Browning Maxis. I have the commemorative goose band choke in right now in cylinder because I prefer a cylinder choke. I don't like anything nice and tight because I like the birds nice and close. As far as loads, I go with the Federal 7.5 shot. It's just a field and target load. You don't really need a lot. Crows are pretty easy to kill as long as you're on them. You got to be on your game if you want to knock crows out of the air. All right, we're going to get set up and then we're going to see what we can do here. So. Like I said, we're using the Fox Pro Spitfire. It has a remote control, which is awesome. If you don't have one, that's cool, but the remote control does make life a lot easier. Two things I always do before I fire up the call is I make sure I have shooting lanes and I'm very well concealed. And I always make sure my gun's loaded before I turn on the call, because if you turn on the call, sometimes they're in there within seconds. All right, we're gonna turn this on and see what we can do. Where'd he go? I got him in my sights. It's behind the tree for me. Yeah, you ready? And that's how it's done. Right there. So we started with the crow fight call. We got a couple to come in, and then we switched to dying crow, and we got one more to come in. We've been on stand about seven, eight minutes. And uh, so far the shooting's been good. So we're gonna hang out a little bit longer and see how it goes. Oh, he's still running. So we got three today, wasn't a bad day. Um, we dumped one over the trees that we had to go chase, and then we dumped that other one clean that we didn't get on camera real well. And then we had another one that uh, we had to shoot and chase. So, wasn't too bad. Um, it was a good day. The farmer's gonna be happy. As you can see, you know, his field's starting to grow in, but it's still kind of bare out there. So, we did a good job, and uh, we're gonna get back after it in a little bit. Thank you for watching.